Before we start talking about Darwin's theory of natural selection's impact on the world, first we must understand what it is. Natural selection is the process by which characteristics that help an organism to survive better are passed on more than ones that do not because the organisms that have these characteristics are more likely to survive. For example, imagine a red planet inhabited by a species of bouncing balls and a fearsome monster. The monster doesn't have very good eyesight but it can still see most of the balls. The balls that it can't see are the red ones because they blend in with the surrounding environment. This means that when it comes to the reproductive season, there are more red balls to pass on their characteristics, so more of the new balls are red. This process will continue until nearly all of the balls are this colour. One of the main ways in which Darwin's theory of evolution has affected the world is in people's beliefs. In Darwin's time, religion had a very strong hold. Darwin himself was pronounced a heretic for his ideas, and his theories ridiculed by many. However, evolution gave a way for life to have been created which did not require God, which has led to the far greater numbers of non-believers and agnostics that we have today, and a lot of religious people no longer take the creation story as the literal truth. Darwin's theory's impact has not been limited to religious beliefs, however. Thinkers such as Karl Marx, who created communism, is supposed to have read and been influenced by the origin of the species, and as it meant that all humans come from a common ancestor, it has contributed to tolerance of other races, Darwin was a strong believer in the idea that all people were equal, which was highly progressive for his time. Unfortunately, Darwin's theory can and has been interpreted in less honourable ways. It has given some the idea that people that they regard as inferior need to be killed off in order to improve the gene pool, a disastrous example being Adolf Hitler. Darwin recognises that this idea is employed by some species in his book, The Descent of Man, saying that some animals will expel a wounded animal from the herd or gore or worry it to death. However, Darwin clearly does not agree with this, because he describes it as almost the blackest fact in natural history, and he goes on to speak of more compassionate creatures, such as in the story of his friend Mr Blythe, who saw Indian crows feeding several others who were blind. Evolution theory has a practical side as well. It explains the reasons for problems such as hernias and back pains. Humans are walking upright in a body that has evolved for movements on all fours. This gives us a small insight as to what we could do about these problems. Darwin's theory of natural selection also helps us understand diseases. Scientists have developed antibiotics to help fight bacterial diseases. However, some bacteria are becoming resistant to them through a process of natural selection. The bacteria that are more able to survive antibiotics have a greater chance of reproducing, and so more and more bacteria become resistant. An example of this is MRSA, which often kills hospital patients when hygiene is poor. Knowing that this is due to natural selection helps us know what to do about the problem. We could, for example, try to cut down on the number of people who take antibiotics unnecessarily to limit the bacteria's exposure to them. This idea can be applied to viruses as well. People are given injections which are weak versions of the virus, so the body learns which antibodies to use to combat them. However, viruses evolve so that these antibodies no longer work. The solution is another injection. It would be very difficult to come to this conclusion without the concept of natural selection. Doctors and scientists wouldn't have a clue what was going on. <laughs>